Hi, I'm Riley Mackey from Group 1 in Ms. Morales' 8th grade science class. And I first of all would just like to thank everybody for coming out here tonight, especially you in the back. So we all shout out to you. Um, so this segment today, we are going to be talking about plate tectonics in North America. Transform plate boundaries is when two plates slide past each other. This happens when oceanic and continental plates meet. Example, the Pacific plate and the North American plate slide up and down against each other and forms a transform boundary. These two plates interact with the San Andreas Fault in California. The other example is the Queen Charlotte Fault on the Pacific Northwest coast of North America. It's another example of the transform boundary. A convergent plate boundary is a tectonic boundary where two plates are moving toward each other. If the two plates are of equal density, they usually push up against each other, forming a mountain chain. If they are of equal density, one plate usually sinks beneath the other in a subduction zone. Examples of a convergent boundary in our region is the Middle American Trench. The Middle American Trench is a major subduction zone. Plate boundary is a tectonic boundary where two plates are moving away from each other and new crust is forming from magma that rises to the Earth's surface between two plates. For example, Olivia is now the new crust that is forming between the two older crusts, Kalia uh, and Taylor. The lower peninsula of Alaska is a divergent boundary. The oceanic crust is constantly forming this boundary. Volcanoes. Yellowstone, also known as the supervolcano, erupted last 70,000 years ago. The degrees on the map is 44.165 degrees north, 110.6 degrees west. It is located in Wyoming. Damage was mostly airborne and within like a 30 to 40 mile radius around the volcano. The deaths, the last eruption was so long ago that they don't know how many people, but if it would erupt now, nearly 87,000 people would be in danger. The formations and mechanics was the Snake River Plate, or Plain, has been responsible for extremely large and devastating eruptions, so they need to cause that one. We'll be filling in for Peyton because of her absence. Earthquakes. The Great Alaska Earthquake was March 27, 1964. The earthquake started 25 kilometer, kilometers beneath the surface. Its magnitude was 9.2. It lasted around 4.5 minutes. It was 61.04 north, 147.73 west. And then there was the Denali Fault earthquake occurred November 3rd. 2002, magnitude of 7.9, lasted about 100 seconds, and this event caused significant damage to transportation systems in central Alaska. Some recent earthquakes were in the Rat Islands, Alaska, in 1965. Its location was 51.5 north, 177.8 west. In 1965, some historical earthquakes include San Francisco, California, Cape Yakutaga, Alabama, Gulf of Alaska, 1987, Shemagin Islands, Alabama, 1938, Fort, Fort Tejon, California, 1857, Yakutat Bay, Alabama, 1899, and Imperial Valley, California, 1892. Mountains on land masses, mountain ranges. The Rocky Mountains in North America and the Cascade Mountains in North America. Go in and okay. Rift Valleys on land masses. The Gorda Rift Valley in California. The Gorda Rift Valley is a 300 kilometer long spreading center 200 to 300 kilometers west of Northern California and Southern Oregon. The Gorda Ridge is the only mid-oceanic ridge in the Pacific Ocean with a slow spreading characteristics. On the north, it is separated from the spreading Juan de Fuca Ridge. 
The Gorda Ridge has been interpreted as the west boundary of an area extending eastward to the Cascadia subduction zone. Hot spots. The North American continental plate is moving at the rate of one inch per year and leaving behind a trail of volcano tracks. 15 to 20 eruptions have left craters for over 16.5 million years to Yellowstone National Park. Also, a hot spot in the heart of the Pacific plate is a result of the Hawaiian Islands and the Emperor Sea Mount chain of volcanoes. Bridges and trenches in the ocean. The Middle American Trench is a very important subjection zone. It's an oceanic trench off the Pacific Ocean. The Aleutian Ocean Trench is a part of this plate as well. This trench runs along the convergent boundary, which also passes the coast of Alaska. The Juan de Fuca Ridge is 300 miles long, and it runs along the coastline of Washington and Oregon. And this happens to be an underwater volcanic ridge. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is a mid-ocean ridge, is a divergent tectonic plate. This ridge is located in the Atlantic Ocean in part of the longest mountain range in the world. Plates. The Juan de Fuca Plate is the boundary on the west coast of North America. The Juan de Fuca Plate is a divergent boundary on the western side and convergent boundary on the eastern side. The boundary between the Pacific and Juan de Fuca Plate is marked by a mountain chain about 500 kilometers long, known as the Juan de Fuca Ridge. In the Pacific Northwest, the Juan de Fuca Plate goes under the North American Plate. Due to subduction, the denser plate of oceanic crust goes deep into the Earth's interior beneath the continental plate. The North American Plate. The boundary in North America is called the North American Plate. As you can see in the picture on the PowerPoint, all three types of boundaries form the western coast of the United States. The Cascade Mountain Range was formed by the heaviness from the collision of the Juan de Fuca Plate, Divergent Boundary, and the North American Plate. The Transform Boundary that runs on the western coast is the largest transform boundary in the country. The Pacific Plate. The boundary on the Pacific Ocean is called the Pacific Plate. As you can see in the picture on the PowerPoint, all three types of boundaries form the eastern part of the Pacific Plate. The Pacific Plate is the largest plate made of crust on our planet. The Pacific Plate also contains the Ring of Fire. I fell into the burning ring of fire. One, North America, and we just finished a segment of Play Tectonics, and we'd also like to thank the following people. Um, this presentation was by Taylor Moon, Riley Magley, and Cleo Ortega. Hey, Manaka is absent from this presentation. We'd also like to thank Andrea Wiesner for being backup person number one, Maddie LT as the cameraman, and Olivia Kowatch as the curtain girl and support. So that's all, folks. Uh, I'm going home. America!